Hello, I'm going to talk to you about tying on a fender. This um, is an important knot because fenders aren't cheap and if you tie an, a knot which isn't adequate they'll fall off and your skipper or instructor won't be terribly happy with you. So the knot is called a clove hitch. In actual fact you could do a round turn and two half hitches which is a different kind of knot but for the purpose of this a clove hitch works really well. Put your fender over the side of the boat to the desired height you want. So for a pontoon height, it would just be above the waterline. For boat height, for rafting up, would be about there. Putting your line from the fender over the top of the guard wire and passing it underneath to make a turn around the guard wire. That fender is now completely secure, unless you let go of this line. Make a cross by bringing the line across that line towards you and place your finger in the gap. The end of the line now needs to pass back through the fender to create that knot which is called a clove hitch. That is now completely secure. So just to recap that knot, putting the line over the wire, making a turn, creates points of friction, will hold the fender there, cross over that, take the end of it and pass it through. Now a slight variation to last time is that I'm going to put a loop through so I don't pull it all the way through. That turns that fender knot, that clove hitch, into a quick release one. So to undo it we just pull on the end of it and it's undone. Very quick, very efficient. So that was the clove hitch and a quick release clove hitch for the use of tying on fenders. Hope you find that useful. If there's anything you want me to cover in the video, do get in touch, info at talkyachting.com. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.